Do you ever think while you're eating a burger, man, this is good, but... Or you're eating a plant-based tartare made from fermented mushrooms and dehydrated scurvy and say, man, this is intriguing, but... Or you're eating a plate of seven textures of tomato with an emotion of this in a reduction of something else and you go, man, this is intense, but... I just think it's missing uh, no sé qué, qué, qué sé yo. If so, then welcome to Mexicanize Your Food, the place where I use Mexican culinary traditions, both classic and contemporary, to take your food experiences to a whole other level by giving them a Mexican twist. How many times you get home tired after a long day and you just want the easiest comfort food you can make and you think, pasta. But how to make it special? in a way that you've never eaten it before. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a dry chili relish you can use. A recipe I will put in the family of salsas matchas. Something you can have in your fridge for months and it can always give you a hand when you want a punch of flavor in your food. Let's start by talking about the chilies. If you don't know much about Mexican dried chilies, you should know that they're used more for their deep and complex flavor than their heat. And each one of them has a very specific character. For example, if this recipe was a Scorsese movie, the chile ancho would be like a Robert De Niro, the chile pasilla would be your uh, Al Pacino, and the morita, which is uh, small, smoky, and spicy, would be your Joe Pesci. And all we're gonna do to these chilies is get rid of the stem and crush them into a flake-sized particle. Then I'm gonna dice shallots finely and I'm gonna shred garlic into a puree. Then add a very flavorful oil. I'm gonna use a cold pressed rapeseed oil, a red wine vinegar, a bit of honey, sea salt, and mix very well. And this is it. All you need to do now is let it rest for one day for all the ingredients to get to know each other and become really good friends. Here's the difference. This one was made some days ago and this is the one that we just made. Now, how are you gonna use it? Cook your favorite pasta following the instructions in the pack and on the side, at medium heat, fry some aubergine or eggplant with a bit of oil and a splash of pumpkin seeds. Two minutes before the pasta is ready, add a bit of pasta water, the relish, mix and then add the pasta. Channel the Stanley Tucci in you to get that mantecato going on Add a bit more pasta water if needed, and voila! Finish with cheese if you so choose. It's a unique taste, but a distant comparison can be notes of black garlic, prunes, sherry, and aged balsamic. It's really good. <laughs> now you know.